Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really delicious soup. I've been making it for years and it's super delicious and scrumptious and healthy and fast and easy. And it's a mini bow tie pasta with chickpeas and garlic and basil and stewed tomatoes and broth. It's done so fast and you know, if you're like hungry for a great lunch, you can whip the soup up, have a salad or a sandwich on the side and you're good to go. So we'll just go ahead and do it. Uh, big stock pot, okay, um, heat it up, and this is already hot. So basically, I kind of just dump mostly everything in. You wanna dump your liquids and then bring it to a boil, and then once it boils, we're gonna add the pasta. So we're gonna start with chicken broth, four cups. I preheated that pan, so it's kind of sizzling. Okay, so start with four cups of chicken broth. And go ahead and put a tablespoon of olive oil in there. All right, I blended the two cans of stewed tomatoes. Love stewed tomatoes because they're packed with flavor and blended because otherwise they're really big pieces. All right, so broth, tomatoes. Put our salt and pepper. I'm gonna put one and a half teaspoons of salt. And about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, and then I have three cloves of garlic. Get these peeled real quick. Okay, so we're gonna crush in the three cloves of garlic. Every Italian recipe requires garlic. And if you don't like garlic, you can cut it back to one or two cloves. All right. So like I said, we're just gonna bring this to a boil. And once it boils, we're gonna add our pasta. So I have the mini farfalle, which is the bow ties, which is kind of pretty to look at kids like it, and we'll be putting a cup once this boils. Okay, so we'll let that boil and then be right back. All right, the liquids boil pretty quickly, so once boiling, go ahead and add your cup of the pasta. And the key with soup is you don't want the pasta to get overcooked, it happens really easy. So we're gonna give it about five minutes with the pasta in there, let me look at the clock. Okay, so five minutes of the pasta and then I'm gonna put the chickpeas and the fresh basil and um, cook it like another two minutes. All right, it's been five minutes and you wanna maintain a light boil while that pasta is cooking. So now we can go ahead and add, uh, it's one can of strained chickpeas that I rinsed. Probably, probably my favorite bean. I love chickpeas, they're so good. And then I've chopped about 10 to 12 fresh basil leaves. I'm gonna hold a little back for the bowl that we are going to take pictures of. But finely chopped fresh basil. Always the secret ingredient, fresh herbs. They make everything, everything, everything better. All right, so gonna go ahead and let that continue cooking for another two to three minutes. You want the pasta to look pretty much done, but not overdone, because it's gonna keep cooking in that hot broth. So be back soon to put it in a bowl and gobble it up. Okay, so the soup's done. I mean, seriously, how fast was that? 
um, you know, 10 minutes of cooking time, five minutes, five minutes max of prep time. So it is done. And so you can go ahead and scoop it. And that pasta will continue to suck up the broth, so it will expand. So just, you know, scoop it right away or pull it off the burner while it's really al dente so it doesn't get overdone. I have a block of the good stuff, fresh Parmesan cheese, which we're going to grate on the top. And I'm gonna taste test it first because I'm a big fan. Mmm. Mmm, so creamy. Oh my gosh, one of the best cheeses. So good. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So grate some over the top. And if you don't have fresh Parmesan, it's okay. You can use dried par Parmesan. And that also adds a nice touch. Okay, and I saved a little extra fresh basil for the green color. And I'm telling you guys, you will want to make this. It is so good and kids like it and it's healthy and it's minimal ingredients and that's what all my recipes are. It's not a lot of ingredients, so tasty, tried and true. So if you haven't subscribed, please do and to all my subscribers, thank you. And I hope that you guys have a really awesome day. Thanks for watching.